is this? This is my top 10 favorite things from 2021 to give you guys some gift ideas. Everything in this video ranges from zero to $100. And some of the things you might be thinking, B, what? Trust me, these are things that we use and love all the time. Another sip. This list is for everybody. This is a genderless list, as per usual. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Christmas scene. I'm adding incense and smoke. Before we get into it, I just want to disclose that some of the items in this list are our products. Some of the items in this list were gifted to me over the last year. And some items in this list may have been given to us as part of a past partnership on this channel. Just know that everything in this list are included in this list because I love and use them. Okay. Let's get into it. The first item on this list is a sweater comb. Now don't click off this video. You might be thinking, what the f is this? Anybody who's into fashion or wears clothes. A sweater comb can be a great stocking stuffer or can go along with, you know, an outfit as a gift. But I use a sweater comb all the time to get rid of these little knobby things that happen and it looks like new. But if you're not really into a sweater comb, the next item on my list is a Grove Made felt desk pad. I love Grove Made. They make a bunch of beautiful desk accessories. I actually purchased this one for my desk and then later they actually gifted me one for a smaller area in my office. But I love this gray felt desk pad. It just makes my desk feel a little more cozy. The next item on my list is a plant. If you guys are followers of this channel, if you follow us on Instagram, you know that I love plants. If you want to gift your friend or family or yourself a nice plant for the holidays and it's your first time getting into plants or you're not really sure if somebody's going to like a plant, gifting somebody a pothos, pothos? Pothos, pothos. How do you go about pronouncing it? Pothos. 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 Pretty straightforward. Yeah, it is until you forget. Is it edible? No, it's not. Pothos is a really great plant to gift. They are beautiful and super easy to take care of and they are trailing. I know it's a plant. And another great one is a ZZ plant. Super easy to take care of. I actually neglected one in a room and probably watered it one time and it grew. So number four on my list is one of our products. It's the matte black coffee table box of matches. Chris and I released the first two items in our home decor line this year, which we're super excited about. So thank you guys for supporting this channel and allowing us to make our own home decor line like crazy. Don't light all of those. Don't like, don't light all of them. Chris. Oh God, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's fucking fire. <laughs> Idiot. It opens up. It has a snapping lid and a levitating tray. So when you open it up, that tray lifts up and reveals a tray of 100 matches. The matchbox ships with 100 matches and an extra 100 matches in a separate bag. I love to put the matchbox on my coffee table, my end table, or even next to my fireplace. In last year's video, I recommended a candle as a gift option. So if you are gifting a candle, maybe the matte black box of matches might work for you. Felt a bit jolly, yeah? <laughs> I'm a big fan of the smell lighting match. I am not drinking out of the next item on my list, but the next item is a 10 ounce Yeti mug. Now you might be thinking, why would I give somebody a mug like that? I ordered uh, two of these mugs for Chris and I before we did our heading east trip. I've used a lot of these little tiny travel cups, like coffee cups, and I must say that these ones actually keep your beverages warm. And we use them for coffee while we were camping. And we also use them for oatmeal to keep our oatmeal kind of hot while we were eating it. You don't have to be a camper to use something like this as well. I like to make my coffees in the mornings and go out and bundle up and sit out on my patio, even on the cold mornings, and just sip on my coffee. The mug keeps my coffee nice and warm, and I get to extend the season a little bit more. Yeti coffee mugs. The light gray. Very into the light gray lately. Yet another item from our home decor line. This is our walnut wall hooks. They come in a pack of two. They are made of solid walnut and are hand rubbed with oil. <laughs> Not recommended. Ew, ew, your beautiful teeth. The logo is on the back. It comes with black screws and mounting hardware as well as mounting instructions. Some of you guys were wondering why the logo is on the back. The idea with the hooks is that you install them as a pair or as like four or six. The idea of having a logo repeating on home decor items like on a wall, I'm not really a big fan of that. So the little logo debossed in the back is kind of our little secret. I am a big fan of hooks, especially in small spaces where you need a little bit of extra organization, say behind an entryway door, if you're living in an apartment and you don't have a lot of closet space, so that is our walnut wall hooks. Everything that I talk about in today's video is linked on our blog, which is in the description box, and it is also linked right here. Now, some of these links are gonna be affiliate links. Of course, those affiliate links help us continue to do this for a living, so thank you for your support. Next up is this Hive notebook. They're stone paper, they're water resistant, the paper doesn't tear. And these notebooks are really great if you are, say, on a job site for construction 
or you're working out in the field, or you're doing travel, you're taking notes, you're journaling your travels, really great for sticking in your backpack and using it outdoors or wherever your travels take you. They have a normal size notebook and a small notebook as well. I like to carry the small one in my camera bag and I use the large one for just day-to-day -day business things. Taking notes. Also, grid paper, my favorite. Thank you, Ken, for sending us those. Also, if you haven't watched NS Builders, link up here. The definition of high-end woodworking. The next thing on my list is a t-shirt from Cuts or a hoodie from Cuts. If you use our link, you can get 15% off your order, which brings the cost of the hoodie to just $100. That's linked in the description box. This video is not sponsored by Cuts, but they have partnered with us over the last number of months and they've been a supporter of this channel. And if your budget is a little bit more than $100, may I recommend a matching <coughs> jogging suit. These are the Sunday sweatpants and the classic hoodie. If your budget is a little bit more than a hundred dollars, 10 out of 10 recommend a matching suit. What is this? Used tissue. How used do you know tissue? it's Becky's letter? Yeah, always a used tissue in the pocket. Second last item on my list is a Civivi baby banter knife. This is a beautiful little matte black knife. It's really great for sticking in your pocket and carrying it around all day. Also great for unboxing. And I actually purchased this on Peter McKinnon's recommendation for our helicopter emergency kit. And I haven't brought it to the kit yet because I love it so much that I just want it around all the time. So I'm gonna have to order a second one for the kit and keep this one with me. It's a really nice little knife for somebody who's into that EDC life. Um, but also if they're just kind of into kind of doing outdoor stuff, it's a fun little knife and it's matte black, which I'm a fan of. And the last thing on my list is this REI Camp Poncho. This thing is actually the best. I got an ad for it on Facebook and I was like, what is this hilarious little camp poncho? And then I was like, maybe I, should, maybe I should buy this thing. So I bought it and oh my God, A, around the fire. Having a fire outdoors, it's a little chilly, toss on the camp poncho, you're good to go. Second thing, remember I was talking about the Yeti mug and going outside with the mug filled with coffee and the mug is keeping the coffee warm? Well, the poncho keeps me warm. Again, it extends my season into the colder months. We also brought it in the tent one time and use it as a blanket during the summer. It comes in a stuff sack. It's really difficult to demonstrate me stuffing it upright so it's in the frame. I really like the gray one. Not sure if that one's available anymore because it's been a while. Great gift for anybody who's into doing little campfires, beach bonfires, or camping, or anyone who like has outdoor space in their home and they want to extend the season. All right, so that is my 2021 holiday gift guide. Ahoy. All of the things I mentioned in today's video were $100 or less, unless you splurge on something like this matching sweatsuit, which I very much recommend. I don't know why I keep putting my leg up here. Again, all the links for the products in today's video are on the blog, beckyandchris.com slash blog, linked in the description and also linked up here. If you guys have a great holiday season, we're gonna be taking a little bit of a break, mid-December, but we will be back January for more content and uh, looking forward to the new season. Okay, thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you on the next one. Merry Christmas to me. There's a dead mouse in the trap over there. You can chop my tongue off. No, Chris, oh my God, oh my God. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even the mouse because it's dead in the trap over there. And I'm too much of a wuss to go get it. Chris, when are you coming home to get the mouse? Not edible. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't you remember that song? Don't you put it in your mouth. Ew, they're slobbery. Yeah. Tell yes yeah, someone you love. If it's okay to eat, like a muffin or a beet. If you don't know just what it is, don't put it in your mouth. Yeah, clearly I never grew up with that song. <laughs> mouse trap. I'm horrified. It must've just happened because it does not smell down here. Oh, sick.